Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaliyah, also known as AJ Plans, here on YouTube and on Instagram. And today we are planning out June 6th to 12th in my Hobonichi cousin Avec. Uh, we actually only have this week and next week left in here, I think. No. So we have this week, next week, and one more week after that before I move into my second half of Avec. Um, there is a duplicate week in this one and that one for the week of July 1st, but I think I'm gonna plan it in that one just to move over. Um, or I'm not sure. Hmm. What I think I might do is actually I'll plan out the, here I'll show you guys. I might plan out this 27th to the 30th with you guys um, and then plan out the first to the third in that book just so that the, uh, it lines up with the daily pages because this one, the last day is the 30th. Well, that one, the first day is the first. So I think that that's what I'll do, but anyway. On to what we're using. So for my washi at the bottom, I'm using this washi from uh, the Aesthetic Studio that I've used quite a few times now. Just because I feel like it really fits in. I don't have a lot of washi. So it really fits in with the color scheme and it is very spring, summery. So I think that's great there. Um, then for my subscription, so we're using the May subscription this time. So this is sheet one and I get the Hobonichi size. These are from Planet with stickers and I'll have um, a link below. It is an affiliate link. So if you do use it, I do get a small commission, um, but you get 10% off or you can use my code uh, Aaliyah J also down in the description if you would like uh, to use it that way. So I have the Hobonichi size. These are the time blocks. So these are for one for 90 minutes and these are for 60 minutes. Sheet one, sheet two is the squares. I have sheet three of my April one just because I have three of these um, checklists left. So I think I'm gonna just use those out. I have um, the sheet three for May. Uh, let me flip it like this. I have sheet four here from May that I just want to show you guys, but I'm not gonna be actually using today. Sheet five for all of these works in my payday. And then sheet six are the little tiny um, sticky notes for just some reminders. And then for my daily pages, I am gonna be using this May exclusive sheet, which is the date covers. I'm just obsessed with like these style of date covers that Selena does. She doesn't do them often. So whenever she does, I jump at the chance to get them. Uh, and then I have this. So she did a collab sheet with Ohana Story. So these are uh, from Planet with stickers or just these boxes. And then these characters here are Ohana from Ohana Story. Um, they're very cute. And I think I'm just gonna put them in sporadically in my daily pages. Um, but I'm gonna use this for just marking work in my daily pages. Then for extras, I have this here. So I have touch point script and these half hour time blocks, which are an old discontinued item from Selena. Uh, and then these are custom scripts. These two birthday girls are from the Prairie Planner. This is uh, so one of her very old designs for her Prairie Girls. So I have that. This to do is leftover from the um, sampler type of page that was an exclusive add-on for the april sub from planet with stickers this is actually let me grab the sheet here and show you guys so what i do is i cut off this little area and use this as a checklist because these are like a habit tracker for the hobonichi weeks but since i don't use the weeks it doesn't really fit so that's how i modify that so i'm using that for my weekly checklist this is from Planet with Stickers. This is from the Prairie Planner. This uh, holographic YouTube logo is from Planet with Stickers. And then the label behind it is from um, the Coffee Monsters Co. So let's get into it. I started using my lapel mic again. So it's very helpful because now I can sit down and talk to you guys and the audio is not gonna get all weird. Um, and it just makes it a lot more comfortable for me. The one thing is making sure that I'm in frame all the time, but if I don't move my planner, then I shouldn't have too much of a problem. So I'm gonna put this here at 11 o'clock, I think. And let's try and make it straight. It is kind of hard to do so. There we go. So I'm just gonna rip off this edge here on this side because this was not a straight edge. And I'll just stick the excess on my desk, honestly, and then I'll rip off the side here. Um, there we go. So today is a filming day for me. 
what I'm doing is I'm filming this one. I just finished filming my May flip through for you guys. And then I'm going to film my June reading journal setup afterwards. I think I am going to go have lunch though before I film that just because I'm a little bit hungry. Um, so how are you guys doing? Please let me know in the comments below. How are your weeks? Um, I feel like I used to ask that a lot back when I started my channel and I've just forgotten to ask lately and I do care about how you guys are doing so please let me know. Um, I'm using this Crayola Super Tip. I have it labeled as 19 but it's just this orangey color um, because I felt like it kind of complemented the orange in this uh, subscription so I'm going to use that to mark in my work hours. Um, I might speed you guys up. I might just talk to you guys. We'll see what happens. Um, so what I was saying is, what was I saying? Honestly, I don't remember what I was saying. I think I'm gonna go upwards with this just because then it's a little better looking and then just dab it out there. Just because it does pool and sometimes I use another sheet, like an extra sheet to just um, cover that up, but sometimes I'll just dab it out and I don't mind the color on my fingers. Just fill in there. Um, what was I gonna say about my week so far? So. I feel like my week was nothing that interesting. I think I went, I worked in person on Wednesday. Did I? Why am I so confused as to what I did last week? Why don't we look at <laughs> last week? Yes, so I worked on site on Wednesday, um, which was nice. We have two new people that have joined our team. Oops, I went over. This was supposed to be only nine to two. Oopsies, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, we have new people who joined our team. So uh, with that, that means that our team is basically complete. Uh, my manager, we're supposed to have one extra role. These roles that, or the position that I'm in is actually new to the college. Um, I do work for a college that, and it's just new to the college system as well because no other colleges have had roles like this, which are like dedicated, um, I guess customer service is what I work in. So we have that. We have two new people that joined us. So I got to meet them in person on Wednesday. And then one of my coworkers and I, who have been working for this college for a while now, we did a training for everybody. So the people who had joined us back in April, um, my manager was there as well as the two new people so that we can just give them an overview of all of the things. And we felt that it was really helpful to just have that dedicated time for them to ask questions and just learn everything. And it was a lot of information, I'm sure, for them in the first, um, for the first week, but of course they'll always have that time to do that. So I was supposed to have a meeting at 10, but I think I'm gonna move it to 11 because another meeting got scheduled at 10.30. Um, and then we have a meeting here at 1.30. And then I have, where's my little book? Here it is. I have a touch point. So this other meeting at 10.30, I'm just putting as a touch point because it's only half an hour long. It's to meet some students that'll be working for us. And then I have another point, touch point, usually at, oh wait, this one is, oh no, this one is right, yeah. Usually it is at, oh no, this is one, this is one o'clock. Let's see if I can get it up. These stickers are non-removable, but I feel like they come up so easily from the Hobonichi paper, which is very nice. So I have that one, and I usually have one at 1.30, but I think we'll move it to two o'clock since we have another meeting earlier. Um, and then I have another touch point to meet some other students at 10, and again, it's just half an hour. Um, and then on Thursday at 1.30, we have a very long meeting for some training that we're doing. Um, then YouTube time. So I think I'll just stick this in here. And oops, this is not straight. Just stick it there to kind of cover up the mistake that I made. 
Um, this isn't really time blocking it because obviously I'll have just come home at this point. So I probably won't. Let me see if I want to use one of the ones from, I think I'll use the blue one from here to just put in this spot and have as a checklist of what I will be doing for YouTube. Um, let me see if I can lift this YouTube logo up a little. Yes, I can. So I do wanna just lift it a teeny bit to just allow for writing room there. Um, but I've been doing this the last couple of weeks to mark in what I would be doing for YouTube and I really do like it. So I have payday on Thursday, so I'm gonna stick this in here just because it's nice to mark those off. Um, and then some of the reminders. So my aunt's birthday is Monday. And then my cousin, who is her son, his birthday is Tuesday, which we always joke that he had, or she had her son for her birthday. That was her birthday gift that year. Um, I have a bill due then. My Netflix is coming out on the 8th. And then the tpc sale i think it's the planner club i'm not sure for sure how what that stands for but selena is going to be participating in that and i realized i do actually need to make a purchase because i'm running out of a lot of my scripts that i had which definitely sucks but here we have this little girl that i'll put there and then this little girl that has a cake i really feel like they look like me with longer hair and selena actually has some uh, darker skin toned chibis that she'll be put, starting it to um, add to her her shop which I'm really excited about because then I'll have another place to purchase some stickers that actually look like me um, as you guys can tell I do have a darker skin tone so it's harder to find these characters that look like me and I'm really happy that Selena is going to be adding them to her shop soon so that I can have those characters again. Um, I was really disappointed when uh, the Prairie Planner had switched up her style because then it looked like someone who had an even darker skin tone than me, but then they didn't actually have a medium skin tone. Um, so I was kind of disappointed at that point, but you know, it is what it is. And now Selena's gonna come up with some stickers to match me, so I'm excited. Um, and then let's go to the daily pages here. Let's find them. Um, wow, I skipped to the end of the week. Let's go to the beginning of the week. Here's Monday. So let's grab. So I have these I need. I'll need these ones. And then the ones that say habits I will need. And the date covers as well as these stickers from the collab sheet. So I think I'm gonna start with my date covers. I like that. So some of them, um, oh, that's funny, it's six, six. Cause uh, the Hobonichi always has the number of the month. Cause I think what it was said is in Japan, they don't use names of the month. They use numbers for the month, which makes sense. So I'm gonna put these in first and then I'll come back, I think. Um, just so that I can use one sheet at a time. But what I was saying was some other shops, they do this kind of style of the date cover, but then they don't actually have it kiss cut like this. It's kiss cut in a rectangle to cover the whole area. But I kind of like that Selena does it this way where it is uh, kiss cut in the weird shape that it is. I don't even know what this would be called, but I really like it. <laughs> the great thing about Selena's sticker paper is it's thick enough that most things don't shadow through. So I never have to worry about that or having to do like, um, like whiting out stuff. I pretty much never white stuff out in my Hobonichi because I always use Selena stickers. And for the most part, the Hobonichi doesn't have super thick, um, or super colored things. Ooh, I wanted to grab some coffee stickers. Let me just grab those. So I have these from um, the Prairie Planner that I'm gonna use. And 
Last time I had color matched, but what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna use, actually, let me use an orange one. Yeah. I'm trying to bring in more orange because I feel like orange is the one that's kind of contrasting in the group and it's not noticed very much. Um, then this one is red, so I think I'll pull in the blue on the side or a yellow. I think I'll pull in a yellow. So I have this yellow one here that I'll pull in and then Friday, um, I'll just do the habit. So let's put a purple and an orange. So we'll do the purple on this side and then the orange on the side. I haven't decided what script I'm gonna use or if I'm gonna write in my habit. So I'll just do that off camera later. Um, and then I'll just put these two colors here, the green and the blue just to use out this sheet from April. So that is gonna go join my group of stickers going in the trash. Um, and then I had pay credit card bill for this day also. So I think I'll, I don't know where I wanna put it cause normally down here is where I do uh, the other stuff. So I guess I'll put pay credit card bill. No, I want I don't wanna put it on the edge because I'm, it's harder for me to see. So I guess I'll just put it down here as a reminder and i just remembered that i need to just grab my wacky holidays so let's pull those out here um they're here somewhere here we go my wacky holidays for from once more with love um unfortunately she is has the next quarter uh as a part of the next um new release, which I think might be this weekend, but it sucks because then for July, I don't know when my stickers will come and it's a good thing I flipped back here to put this. So I'll put this one up here just because it's not as big of a deal where that um, where the holidays go because they're just fun holidays. So let's put the red here for Red Rose Day. And then I think I'm gonna stick with the hearts for this week because I used the hearts on the other two days. Sometimes I'll alternate the which checklist I'll do of either the hearts or the squares or just do whatever colors I feel like when I'm running low on them. But I think I'm gonna do with the hearts and I'll go with this very bright blue one as a contrast to the red here. And then for these, apparently Saturday is corn on the cob day. I am personally not a huge fan of corn, of the, corn on the cob, to be honest with you guys. My mom loves it, like loves corn on the cob. I find that it's kind of a lot of work <laughs> just because you have like this giant cob of corn that's just there. But when you do, um, when you have just like corn niblets, for example, I feel like it's just so much easier to eat with a fork or a spoon and just scoop it. So that's that's my hot take, I guess you could say. Let me know down below if you guys are a corn on the cob type of people, um, since clearly I am not. Let's see, let's do the red here. And then we could do the purple over there. Um, Donald Duck Day. That's cute. What is your favorite Disney movie? I feel like I'm asking you guys so many questions today and you guys are probably like, oh, please stop asking me questions. <laughs> but yes, so we'll put the purple here and the green over here. And then what else was happening this day? Oh, I didn't make any stickers to mark on my aunt and my cousin's birthday, but I will do that later. I haven't, I don't know how I wanna mark that. Um, let's see, let's do the blue and red. I just try and put them so it's colors that are not already on the page. So that way we have that contrast there. Sometimes these stickers are so hard because they're cut, but the corners are like, just want to stay down. 
So it makes it very difficult to, there we go. Here's that. Um, and then this day is World Ocean Day. Interesting. And then, let's see, what else do we have? Monday and Wednesday. Wait, wasn't my Netflix bill is due on Wednesday? So let's stick this down here. And then Tuesday, so let's start with the work ones. We have the green and the purple left. The one problem with using date covers from the same um, kit and not alternating them means that you have a lot of green all on one page, which I mean is not the biggest deal. Um, let's use a yellow over here. And I think I'm gonna use another red. Use the bright red here, just to cut up a lot of that green. So we'll put a blue over here. Then the last one is a green. I'll put over here. And then for these, we'll use an orange. And I think we'll use purple. Put the orange on this side and the purple on this side and then let's see what our holidays are so we have vcr day i know what a vcr is i have a vcr still it's funny that they have a vhs tape for vcr day but that's fine um and yo-yo day so i am born in 2000 and it's like Gen Z, whatever, but we still have our VCR. So just wanted to point that out there. Um, but I think that's it for this plan with me. I don't really have much else to mark in the daily pages um, since this is more of a memory keeper. So I think I might just even hold off from marking their birthdays in here until maybe if we like call them or do something, that's when I'll have that there. Um, but yeah, this is it for this week. As usual, it's pretty lax. I don't have a lot going on. Let's try and skip back to the daily pages here and show you guys that. But yeah, I don't have much going on. Um, I'll figure out what I'm filming after I get this work done uh, to see what exactly it is. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my filming days or my posting days have changed. I now post every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, that just worked better for me and my schedule. So that's what's going on there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit the post notifications down below so you don't miss any of my future content. Happy planning guys, bye.